Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So, hi guys, how are you doing? As you guys know, I go to Disneyland Paris quite often, and in all my visits, there are certain things that I always do, or at least try to do. And so, I thought I'd just make a video talking to you about the things that I always do at Disneyland Paris. I kind of want to call them my Disneyland Paris rules, because for me, this is the way to do it. Like, I need to do these things at Disneyland Paris for me to be fulfilled and happy and satisfied with my Disneyland Paris trips. So yeah, I've got five things that I want to share with you, and yeah, let's do it! So number one, I always have to go to Disneyland Park first, rather than Disney Studios. Like, I've never ever been to Disneyland Paris and gone to the Disney Studios first. It just doesn't make sense to me. I can't do it. I physically cannot do it. And I've been lucky enough, you know, that with whoever I've gone with before, they've all agreed with me that I should, we should probably go to Disneyland Park first. There's something about walking on Main Street and like seeing the castle that just is Disney to me. And you know, when I get excited about a Disney trip, that's what I think about. So I need that to be the first thing I do. Like, I really cannot spend a day or even like an hour in the other park before I go to the main park. I've been to Disneyland Paris probably about 30, 40 times now, maybe even more, since I was a child. And uh, yeah, I've always, on every single trip, I've always gone to Disneyland Park first. And that's not about to change anytime soon. I also normally prefer Disneyland Park to also be the last park I go to. So on our leaving day, I, I just prefer that to be the last kind of, the, the scene of the castle, the view of the castle to be the last thing I see before I leave the parks. But I'm not that fussed about that. Like I don't mind too much if I end up kind of being in the Disney Studios before I leave. But regarding the first thing I do there and first park I visit, it definitely has to be the Disneyland Park every single time. Number two, there are three rides in Disneyland Paris that I always, always have to go on if they're open obviously and that's just because I've always been going on them since I was a child and since I was a child they've been my favorite rides in Disneyland so I've got this like connection with them like loads of memories from my childhood and because of that reason for me a Disneyland Paris trip isn't complete without going on them now those three rides are Thunder Mountain Pirates of the Caribbean and It's a Small World, as you can see. I'm wearing a t-shirt for it as well. I don't think I've ever been to Disneyland Paris and not gone on at least one of these rides. Like on our December trip, which is a vlog for, in my Vlogmas videos, um, unfortunately um, It's a Small World was closed, so I couldn't go on it, which felt really odd, but so was Thunder Mountain actually, that was closed as well. So the only ride that I did get to go on of my three favourites was Pirates, and that was still good, but yeah, if possible, if they're all open, I need to go on all three of them. Number three. I have to meet at least one character. So I don't necessarily mind if I don't like meet loads of characters, especially like a few years ago, I wasn't too bothered about queuing up all the time and meeting like millions of characters, but I still had to meet at least one. Like for me, a Disney trip isn't complete without having met at least one character. And it's funny because like, if you go and watch back like my December 2013 vlog, for instance, on my channel, my friends that I went with weren't that bothered at the time about characters, which is weird because even my friend Rebecca, who I go to Disneyland Paris with a lot now, she just didn't care about characters as much at the time. So I remember on that trip I queued up on my own to meet Winnie the Pooh because I just wanted to meet Winnie the Pooh in his Christmas outfit and it was like, I don't know, maybe a 45 minute queue? The other three just went on Buzz Lightyear which I'm really crap at anyway so I didn't want to go on it. And also like this end of the stairs for instance, that was the thing that used to happen at the time in Disneyland Paris in the hotel and uh, I like made sure, I, like I forced everyone to kind of come with me. Um, not all of them did, Mary did, uh, Rebecca I think joined us later with Sophie. But yeah, it's just like one of those things for me. I, I Since I was a child again, I've never been to Disneyland Paris and not met at least one character. It doesn't have to be Mickey, like when I was a child, I hardly ever met Mickey, to be honest, because my parents just weren't the queuing kind of people. They didn't really enjoy queuing. I, I guess I didn't really either. And Mickey always had a queue, obviously, because he's the most popular mouse, I was going to say person, mouse in Disney. It's so, like, if you look at my childhood pictures in Disneyland Paris, most of them are, like, with the random characters, like Pinocchio or, like, Mr. Smee, Geppetto. I've got a few with Minnie and, like, Goofy and Pluto, but very few with um, uh, Mickey himself, which is a bit sad, but oh well. I've met him loads of times now. My number four rule of Disneyland Paris is that I don't personally like going on the same rides over and over again. Now I'll make an exception for rides like It's a Small World, obviously, and Pirates I can handle, Thunder Mountain, of course, I love that. But even with these rides, like, my maximum would be like three times in a row. Anything more than that, and for me, it just ruins it. It really does. And I know that not everyone's like me, so for instance, in our November of 2014 trip, which you can watch the vlog of it if you want on my channel, the three friends that I went with, uh, Rebecca, Katie and Beth, they're like very like big into like roller coasters and stuff and so am I like I really like like big rides but I'm fine doing them just once and like moving on to the next ride because for me Disneyland is about so much more than just like the big rides and
and it's completely understandable if you, you're not like that but I just yeah basically on that trip there was um, one incident where the three of them just wanted to go on Indiana Jones like over and over again and we'd already been on it like two or three times on that trip and they just wanted to go on it again and I just to be honest I wasn't feeling well and I was just like I'm gonna go on this small world instead you guys go on that and I went on this small world I went on this small world once and then I was meant to meet them at, like outside it and I didn't see them so I was like I'm gonna go around this small world again why not and then I met them like 10 minutes later and it turns out that they also went on um, Indiana Jones like two or three times in a row so understandable if that's what you'd like to do but for me that, that it's just that's just not Disney that's not what I like doing on that same trip we went to the studios for um, our extra magic hours and Crush was open you know the ride Crush which is always like very popular and has like massive queues and I'd only ever been on it once before and I wasn't like the biggest fan of it I thought it was okay but because it didn't have a queue obviously doing extra magic hours we were like yeah let's go on it and I was up for it as well we went on it once and it was great came off and then everybody was like oh should we go on it again and I didn't want to be the awkward person to be like no guys I don't want to go on it again so I just went along with it and went on it again for the second time in a row and it was kind of fun actually because if you don't know Crush kind of spins around so the first time I went I was going backwards second time round I was going forwards and it was just nice to kind of see the difference I guess but then we got off and then my three friends were like should we go on it again and I was like no like inside I was like I don't want to go on it again but obviously I was like why not you know they want to go on it I'll go ahead with them and in the end we ended up going on it four times in a row and I just didn't see it necessary. Like I would have preferred to just kind of move on from Crush after maybe one or two rides and maybe go to the Toy Story area, go on Ratatouille, just kind of walk around the park. I just don't get the mentality of constantly being on rides uh, in Disneyland Paris and I, I personally don't like it. It's like one of my Disneyland Paris rules. However, obviously if my friends and people I'm with want to do it, I'm happy to do it with them because it's not that big of a deal to me. It's just my preference is to not do rides over and over again in like the space of 10 minutes or something. And finally, my number five rule at Disneyland Paris is that I really don't like wasting time and for me wasting time means staying in the hotels for too long or going out in Disney Village. I know that makes me sound really old because like everybody loves going out and drinking and stuff but I really don't. Not in Disneyland Paris. I, I don't want to go out in Disneyland Paris. After like a long day in the parks, after watching Dreams, all I want to do is go back to the hotel and sleep ready for the next day. This is like one of my biggest like rules I don't like doing and I remember the first time that I went to Disneyland Paris with my friends because you know obviously growing up I'd always gone with my family and my parents and it's always a different situation with them because you know I was a child and blah 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 we never went out but the first time I went with my friends April of 2013 we went to watch Buffalo Bills and afterwards my friends just wanted to stay out a bit longer um, and I really didn't want to but obviously I did because I love my friends you know and I don't want to be horrible like if they want to do it why not but to me I was just it was just so hard to do it because I was tired as well and like for me the perfect way to end the trip to Disneyland Paris isn't to go to one of the bars in Disney Studios and like drink and whatever. For me the perfect way is to just go back to the hotel, maybe watch a bit of Disney Channel and on your bed and look at your pictures that you've taken that day, just kind of share memories about your day, have a look at the stuff you've maybe bought from the shops and stuff and then just have an early night and sleep and relax. Now I do realise that most people probably don't agree with me on this one but that's fine, like we're all different, it's just my opinion. One time I remember actually we went out, I think this might have been in April of 2014 and I tried the Glotini for the first time because my friends wanted to go out after like watching Dreams and so we were in um, Billy Bob's I think, just kind of chilling and I thought I might as well try it because I'd heard good things about it. Honestly, I really didn't like it, like it was okay. The drink was okay and it was really fun obviously the glow teeny to see the, like the glowing um, cube thing I still have it somewhere with me but I don't feel the need to ever buy it again like it's fine like I've done it now it's fine I don't need to do it again and honestly like there's been times when I've been to Disneyland Paris and my friends have said they'd rather like go out and like just kind of chill in Disney Studios rather than watching Dreams and I'm just like no you can't do that no if I'm in Disneyland Paris if I'm in the area I want to spend most of my time in the parks like watching Dreams if I can watch Dreams I'm going to watch it I'm not going to waste it by like just going and in a restaurant instead so yeah that's just my opinion and I'm the same with like swimming pools as well I've stayed in pretty much all the Disneyland Paris hotels apart from Newport Way which I'm staying at next month and most of these hotels have like really good pools but I've never been to them because I don't see the point in them. When you're in Disneyland Paris, for me anyway, I want to spend most of my time, like I said, in the parks. I don't want to be spending it swimming or going to the gym or just doing anything else apart from being in the parks and experiencing the magic. But yeah, that's 
it pretty much. These are my five Disneyland Paris rules. Basically just things that I like doing in Disneyland Paris and the way I like experiencing Disneyland Paris if you like. Obviously I'm not saying that my way is the right way, it's just my preference. We're all different people, you probably have your own ways of doing Disneyland Paris and I actually want you guys to leave comments down below or make a video response to something. Let me know of your rules for Disneyland Paris and what you like really like to do every single time in Disneyland Paris. Because it'd be interesting to find out and we're all different and you know there's no right way to Disneyland Paris. This is why Disneyland is such a great resort because there's plenty to do for everyone like loads of entertainment going on no matter what you're into no matter what you like and it all comes down to your personal preference as to what you want to do with your time there but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video leave comments down below and let me know of your rules and thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you next time bye